So we begin the news at 530 as a community in North Carolina is mourning the loss of five people, including an off duty police officer. This happened in Raleigh last night. Police say a 15 year old boy is responsible for their deaths and one of the victims was his own brother. The victims ranged in ages from 16 to 52. Two other people were hurt. That teen is now in police custody. And as Elise Preston reports, investigators aren't sure what led up to the violence. Because we don't have answers as to why this tragedy occurred. As police in Raleigh work to establish a motive for Thursday's deadly shooting spree, North Carolina's capital city continues to grieve. There are several families in our community waking up this morning without their loved ones. Authorities say the alleged 15 year old gunman terrorized a residential neighborhood over a two mile crime scene Thursday evening before he was taken into custody. No child, no grandparent, no one should feel this fear in their communities. Among the dead, 49-year-old Susan Carnitz, whose heartbroken family remembered her in a Facebook post as a wife, mother to three boys, and so much more. Officials say a 16-year-old, two other women, and Raleigh police officer Gabriel Torres were also killed. Torres was on his way to work at the time. Just this week, at least seven officers have been wounded and five killed in the U.S. Leaders here in Raleigh say they are determined to end gun violence. I know that brings us all sadness and anger. We have to do something. The shooting set off a massive police response and an hours long manhunt. It was a long standoff, long situation, but the resolution of it has been successful and I'm very thankful for that. The suspect is hospitalized. Police have not said whether he injured himself or was injured by responding officers. Elise Preston, CBS News, Raleigh, North Carolina.